Thanks for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to be on splines. Let's go back and look at what the spline technology offered from 2013 SolidWorks. If I went into the spline command, we'd have regular splines. If I tried to create a spline that was, let's just do one that's quasi symmetric from one side of this center line to the next. I could go in there and do this and I could go in and make these points symmetric from one side of my spline to the next and that'll give me a relatively symmetric spline in here. So this is one way to achieve a smooth curve and you can see the curvature combs in here and that's a method that we've had in the software for many years. Now I'll come along in 2014, I'm sorry, was the style splines. So if I go in and look at style splines, I have more controls with these splines. When I come in, I'm controlling this via these polylines. So I can dimension to the polylines, I can constrain to the polylines, very much like I did the points, I can use constraints to constrain the entire line. And here, let's do a couple more of these, make that symmetric, and you can see the curvature combs on here. It's a lot easier to control smoothness in a spline by virtue of you being able to work with these polylines to control it. I could also dimension to these polylines, so I have dimensional analytical controls that I can use inside my design and put these dimensions anywhere I really want. So there's a lot more you can do with a style spline than a standard spline. Now in 2016 they've enhanced this and taken it a step further. When I come in and I have a style spline, I'll be able to go in and create a style spline with a number of curves. Let me show you how this is. And a degree set to my style spline. So I'll go back into my style spline command. And this time I'm going to go in and put several points out here in eyeball symmetry just for the sake of time. Right now I'm not going to go through and make this completely symmetric because what I want to show you is how this spline gets set. So when I click on the spline you can see it's a Bezier curve as a style spline is. But if I dig down deeper in here I can choose to make this a 3 degree B spline, a 7 degree, or a 5 degree. And if you look what this is really doing is it's almost like changing what you could consider a weight in the line. So if I go to 7 you can see it's smoother and as I move my cursor around you can see the effect that has on a 7 degree B spline. If I came over here and put it on 3 degrees you can see it's a lot sharper and you can see the effect that I'll have then. So I almost look at that like a weight being put on the end and controlling it via that weight. So in order to have a spline, a style spline that you can change from three all the way to seven degrees, you'll need at least eight control points in it. So if I wanted a five degree spline, I'd need at least six control points in it. You can see this if I go in and just draw a style spline that only has here I'll, I'll go with one two three four five six points and you can see I can only turn this into a five degree B spline so the number of points matters to the flexibility of your weighting on this B spline whether you want three degree five degree or seven degree weighting so if you did create a spline 
and it didn't have enough points, we do have a way to insert spline points. It's a little different when you're working with style splines. We go in and insert a control vertex, and what we're really doing is inserting this on the polyline itself. So if I went in there and, you know, did this, I can see that I can now change to a five degree spline, but if I want more than that, I'm going to need to go in and add more control vertexes and put more control points in in order to go up to a seven degree V spline. So that's really the quick tip for the day on style splines. I think style splines are going to be the preferred choice for industrial designers that are working with SolidWorks. And if you've done a style spline, you can always convert it to a regular spline. If you've got a regular spline that was used in the olden days and you want to convert this to a newer spline, you can go back and convert it back to a style spline as well. So you can go back and forth from one to the other. When you convert it back to a style spline, you might want to reduce the number of points that you have over here for, for editing. But that's really it for style splines inside of SolidWorks. Thanks for watching another quick tip video.